Welcome to my March book review wrap up, While Grilling. Book number one of March was Fonda Lee's Crossfire, which wrapped up her EXO series. A uh, pretty good finish up, still some relational things, since she doesn't reach the form that she'll get later in the Greenbone Saga. So I gave it a 3.0. Book number two of March is by K.J. Parker, his Two of Swords Part One, a very interesting book that follows a variety of characters, one section at a time, one character per section. Uh, follows a political thriller where you're almost revealing the plot as you go along. You think it's one thing and it's turning into another the entire time with intrigue and plot and assassination. Highly recommend four out of five. Book number three was also by KJ Parker, his 16 ways to defend a walled city. A very interesting book um, about an engineer who has to save an entire city. And I wish they'd focus a little more on the strategy engineering stuff and not a bunch of the lucky things that happen, but still very good read and a four out of five. Book number four in March was John Gwynn's first book in The Faithful and the Fallen called Malice, which is a kind of take on biblical prophecy uh, set in a fantasy world where you follow a hero, an anti-hero, the, uh, the savior, the anti-savior, and as they get sucked into this prophetic battle between angels and demons. And it's a very interesting book, definitely liked it, had some prose issues, but I gave it a solid four out of five. After Malice, I very quickly got sucked into a Faithful and the Fallen uh, journey. And so my book number five was Valor, the second book of his series. And another follow-up, which uh, continued some themes of betrayal and things like that, that just kind of felt like a rinse and repeat. Prose got better though, and so I still kept it at a four out of five. Book number six for me in March was The Faithful and the Fallen, book three, which is called Ruin. Um, for me, it was a step backwards. Uh, a lot of the continuations of betrayal and of things, it just seems like a lot of a rinse and repeat. So I give it a 3.5, still definitely worth it in the series. Book number seven of March, and the last one for me, was He Who Fights With Monsters, uh, book number one, which is about a guy who wakes up. It's a lit RPG. He wakes up with no powers in a magical world and goes on and finds friendship and powers and adventure and all of that stuff, which is really fun. Definitely not the most exciting or unique of things, but very fun and engaging, and so I gave it a three. So that was my March reads. The book of the month for me was actually KJ Parker's Two of Swords Part One. It was a very unique, very long at times, but the character development and the world building and the plot development, um, it leaves you almost feeling there's a magic trick at the end that's about ready to happen. And there's several other parts I'm looking forward to reading soon. So that was my book of the month. Enjoy any of the books that I read. Just enjoy reading, guys. Take care.